Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Activos. In today's tutorial, we are going to see one of the interesting activity which is present in Activos console. So let's go ahead and learn that. And this activity is nothing but scheduling a process or scheduling a task in Activos. Activos works on a framework which uses the scheduler internally. It means we can schedule process and the Activos internally take care of execution of that process or task of the certain frequency. We can parameterize all those frequencies. So let's go ahead and configure and uh, or I would say let's go ahead and see how to configure a task or process such a way that it will execute every hour in a day. As I said this scheduling activity is an administrative activity. So that means we have to go to the admin tab. So we have the various tabs here home, monitor, report, catalog and admin. Let's go ahead and click on admin tab. Whenever we click on admin tab it will take us to a, a main screen where we can see the various administrative section. In order to configure a schedule, we have to go to a maintenance tab where we can have the scheduling uh, feature of Activos. I'm clicking on this maintenance tab and it will take me up next screen where we can see the process scheduling and storage maintenance. Storage maintenance is used normally to delete log files or to delete the faulted and completed processes. The process scheduling section is used to view and configure process schedule. Let's go ahead and click this process scheduling. So in order to configure any process for scheduling which I already configured one here you have to click on this create schedule in create schedule you have to mention the a name of your schedule uh, what what activity you are performing for example delete So here we can see the multiple tasks. So you can select any one of these tasks. For example, let me select, uh, you can select either merge workflow or as I select it's update task. So I will select this something be update workflow with approval or let me see anything else. Okay, let's take this and go back and put this server definition here. Okay, so you need to provide service definition, but make sure that service definition is present. This is very important. If that service definition is not present, our process will not execute. That is important. Our schedule will not work. You can give any name. There is no restriction on that. Now let's define a frequency. What are the frequencies available? You can execute this schedule only once. You can execute it as intraday. When I say intraday, you can schedule uh, every hour or every minutes or every second also. If you want to execute every two hours, just change the time. What are the options available for the daily? You can schedule based on this time. At that particular time interval, uh, this schedule will execute. We also have the every day, every weekday, or you can give the every second day of a week. Then we have weekly. So you, you have the option you can give the time at what time you want to execute. If you want to do once in a week, then you have to select the day like one of the days like Sunday, Monday, etc. Then monthly you can select a day or you can provide like first day of 
first Sunday of the month or something like that and you can select on which month you want to do because some of the month we might have the maintenance like January or December you can just unselect and you can ignore that or you can save that let me schedule this activity intraday I will select the execution for every two hours suppose you want to execute only in a day time like then you can select this time from and to so that within that time frame this ex job will be executed now assume that sometimes or the initial time you have the lots of record to process so it could take a longer than defined frequency so how to handle such situation whether you want to skip already existing job or you want to terminate if terminate the new job if the if it is already running or create another process so that multiple processes can run but it is like I would not recommend to have this third option it might create conflict let's go ahead with the skip if running then you can provide the input document and click OK input document you can get from the informatica team so once it is done you can select the let me close it here is the edit option when you click edit option you will see the task name whatever the already given task name and the other option this is the document uh, detail so by this way you can edit also one of the parameter you can change like suppose instead of 5 minutes you can make it to 4 minutes etc so um, now you you do you created schedule but it is not going to execute until it is enabled so it's very important to enable the task so how to enable select this process and click on enable if it is already enabled then there will no action perform it will just remain enable some cache issue is here so we can just ignore for now but the important step is we have to enable it the important aspect is nothing but editing suppose we created multiple tasks and we would like to edit it you have to select this task and click on this edit option so you can see the various parameters which are already configured like name then we have the service name etc and we also have uh, the document type the service definition you can get from this open service definition and you'll see there the clean MDM table name so normally document input document also have that tag you can get that in the workflow definition it is not just the service definition name it will have the additional things associated with it so by this way you can edit it the other thing is suppose you want to execute this workflow how can you execute because this is a schedule but other than that um, you want to execute outside the schedule how can you do that it's very simple you have to just select this job and click on the run as soon as it you click run it will start executing and you will see there are a couple of things you will see what when was the last it was completed what, what was the last status of this job it was completed at what time it was executed what is the next plan so it will give this next plan also based on your schedule so by this way you can schedule your task if you want to delete any, delete any schedule, select that schedule and click delete. It will take us to next dialog box saying that delete the selected schedule, click OK. And it will delete the process. So by this way, we can schedule a process to perform activities which can be controlled through workflow. I hope this tutorial is going to help you to schedule the various activities and tasks through the 
scheduler which is present in Actiros. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice time.